or indicating is a simple task that is important to do correctly. If we signal properly, it will make our intentions clear to other road users, which will help to keep us safe and show our consideration to other drivers. However, if we forget to signal or signal at the wrong time, it could cause danger or even an accident. Many driving tests are failed due to misusing the car's signals, as even a small mistake such as forgetting to cancel a signal after leaving a roundabout could mislead another driver and therefore fail the test. This video will show you how to signal at the correct time and place, which is an essential part of becoming a safe driver. It's important to signal at the correct time so that other people can see our signal and react in time when needed. It's not just other car drivers that will be looking at our car for signals, as anyone nearby such as bikers, cyclists and even pedestrians might need to know what we intend to do next. There are some situations when we will need to signal every time we do something, for example turning right at a junction and other situations when we will need to decide whether a signal is needed, for example overtaking a parked car. In this video our advice is intended for a driver in the UK, so if you live somewhere else check your own regulations as there might be small differences in your country. Let's look at a few situations and consider how we should use our signals. When we pull away from the side of the road, if anyone such as oncoming traffic or a pedestrian about to cross the road would benefit from seeing our signal, then we should use our indicators. If there is no one nearby, then a signal is not necessary. Although if we still decide to signal anyway, that is okay. However, we must use caution. As if we are ready to pull away and we notice a vehicle approaching from behind us, we should not signal if we intend to wait for them to pass. This is because our signal might cause the approaching vehicle to slow down, stop to let us pull away or even swerve around us and this would probably fail the driving test. When stopping at the side of the road, we should follow the same rules when pulling away. If anyone will benefit, we must signal our intention to stop. If no one will benefit from a signal, it is not necessary to indicate, although we can still do so if we wish. We should always signal when we are turning left or right at a junction. As we approach a junction, the normal procedure is to check our mirrors, then signal before starting to slow the car down as this warns the car behind us that we are about to brake. As we will need to brake earlier on a faster road than on a slower road, if we try to signal just before we start slowing down, we should give others enough warning of what we are about to do. There are of course exceptions where we may have to brake before we signal, such as when we are driving down a hill or slowing for a lower speed limit just before the junction we need to take. Be sure to brake smoothly as following traffic will have less warning than usual. We should only signal when we intend to take the next junction on that side of the road. So if there is another junction on the same side of the road before ours, we should pass this before signalling. We will also need to signal every time we use a roundabout but we must be careful to signal correctly so we don't confuse other road users. When turning left, we should signal left throughout the roundabout. After we leave a roundabout, we must check whether our indicator has cancelled automatically, as sometimes we will need to manually cancel it to avoid misleading other drivers and causing danger. When driving straight ahead, we should not signal on approach and then signal left as we pass the exit before ours to show that we are leaving the roundabout at the next exit. It is important to signal left promptly so other drivers understand which exit we are taking.
When turning right, we should signal right as we approach and then continue to drive around the roundabout. Stay in the inner lane and then once we reach the exit before ours, we should check our left mirrors for traffic and then signal left. We can then safely change lanes before taking our exit. The only difference when using mini roundabouts is that we do not need to signal left when leaving the roundabout. So when driving straight ahead, we don't need to signal at all. It is not normally necessary to indicate around parked cars, as when we steer around the parked car, other drivers will see our change in road position and should understand our intention. However, if we need to stop on a narrow road behind a parked car while we wait for oncoming traffic to pass, then it might look like we have parked our car. If we see traffic approaching us from behind, then we could signal to ensure the car behind us understands that we are waiting for oncoming traffic before driving on. We would not recommend signalling every time we pass a parked car, as excessive signalling could be misleading to others, as it might look like we are about to turn right or pull over, which could cause danger. We must assess each situation individually and signal only when we think the benefits of doing so will increase the safety of yourself and others. We recommend signalling when we are joining a multi-lane road such as a motorway, as it will remind other traffic of our intention to merge into the traffic flow. When joining from a slip road, we should remember that the traffic on the main road still has priority whether we are signalling or not, so we must still give way when needed. We would also signal every time we need to change lanes or overtake another car, as there could be other vehicles near our car that we are not aware of. Remember that when traffic is busy, it is easy for other vehicles to hide in the blind spots just over our shoulders. It is also courteous to signal when we are leaving a dual carriageway or motorway, just as we would at any other junction. We normally signal at the 200 metre warning board to give ample warning to other drivers. When manoeuvring our car, we do not normally need to use our signals. However, it is an option if we feel it is necessary. If we see another road user approach our car and we think that they might not understand what our intentions are, then we could signal if it would help. For example, if we are about to do the reverse parallel park manoeuvre or reverse into a parking bay and a car approach from behind our car, signalling left at this point would safely inform the other driver of our intention. However, for other manoeuvres we would not normally use our signals. Instead, we should just wait until the danger has passed before finishing the manoeuvre. So remember to signal every time when turning left or right, signal left when leaving a roundabout, signal when changing lanes or overtaking, and Consider other situations individually and only signal when necessary. If you found this video interesting, please click like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. Thanks for watching.